Hey guys, welcome to You The Boss Podcast, episode 27. I'm your host, Pam. And today we're going to be talking about the ability to rest and reassess. Now before we dive into the topic, I know that if you've been listening to me for a while, we took a little bit of a break, hence the topic rest and reassess. And... I can't specifically say that there was one reason that we took a break or that we took a second to rest, but I can tell you that mentally it was amazing (laughs) and I'm excited to share more with you guys in the coming weeks. So earlier this year, I decided that I wanted to take this podcast to a different level, coming from the same angle of You the Boss, and just putting out more content, putting out more episodes, and opening up my lines of communication with you guys. And in that initial time, that first half of the year, I learned a lot. I've started to seek different ventures. I've connected with so many of you through this podcast. And at some point with life, I found myself kind of burning myself out, maybe not feeling as creative. And honestly, just straight up life. Like I can't, again, I can't really pinpoint one thing over the other. But in this time, I did a lot of reading, I've done a lot of listening, I've done a lot of connecting, a lot of networking. So just because you aren't seeing episodes doesn't mean that they're not coming. And also, you know, again, I like to live full transparency on this podcast. It doesn't mean that just because you're not seeing the work, it doesn't mean that it's not happening. So a few weeks ago, when I started to brainstorm on How am I going to come back? You know, what am I going to share with everyone? What do I want to bring to the table with this refreshed mindset that I feel? And I started to think about what I had done in this off time, in this off air time. And I realized that I unconsciously took a rest. Not so much that I stopped doing other things or that I stopped working but I, I took a step back to rest and reassess. And if you're here listening, that means that you do more than one thing. You don't just go to work. You don't just have a business or you're not just creating a business or you're not just creating your online presence or you're not just a lawyer. You know, you, you're doing more than one thing. And, and sometimes you can get passionate about all the different things that you're doing and you, and you burn yourself out. And when you get burnt out, you're not sure if it's that you're burnt out or if it's that you're actually tired and you need to listen to your body. And when that happens, you usually get forced to rest, whether you get sick or something in life happens where you need to sit down and chill. And I've spoken about this before on how important it is to rest. You know, a lot of times we think that resting is quitting. If you take a break, it's like, oh, well, I took a break or I can't be, I can't do that right now. I don't have time to rest. And and I recently saw something that said, If you feel like you don't have time to rest, that means that you should. That means that you should make time. That means that you should find time. And I talk about this often. And if you've listened to any of my episodes before, I mentioned the pandemic at least once. And I'm always looking for the sugar and the salt. And so one of the many things that the pandemic has brought forward to me is listening to 
my intuition and also listening to my body more often. I used to be the person that even if I was exhausted, I still made time to do things that maybe I didn't need to be doing, that I didn't need to be at, that I could have delegated or that I could have rescheduled. I found myself almost being irritable to those around me because I was just working myself to the bone. I, I, I found myself being mean. Mean because I was tired, because I was not resting. I wasn't listening to my body. I used to be the person that I literally would make myself sick from just overworking or whatever. And I would be like, I'm just going to take some DayQuil and I'm going to go to work. I'm going to take some Tylenol. It's going to be fine. I'll just go to work. Or I'm going to go do this thing. It'll be fine. I remember in January of 2020, I had had a fever for a couple of days. And there was a bridal expo that I had committed to my now mother-in-law of her coming with me and my mom. And my husband as well went and I had committed to this. And she was driving all the way from Pennsylvania and... I was like, no, you know, I'm going to go. I'm going to go to this thing. And I had a fever and I was miserable the entire time that I was at this expo. But because I guess you could say I couldn't find the no or the reschedule or, oh, my gosh, I really need to get to this event. It only comes once a year around this time of the year. I really need to go and do this thing. And I was basically sick for another week and a half, and I'm almost 100% sure that I should have gone to the ER that morning instead of that night. So, Um, But fast forward now, the pandemic, if I don't feel well, I won't be there. And I don't mean the, the sometimes like I'm sore and a little bit groggy. I mean like I know physically that I don't feel good. I promise you that I won't be there. Yes, for the safety of others. Yes, because there's still so many things floating around as we speak. But I won't do that anymore because I need to continue to learn to trust myself that if I don't feel good, that I shouldn't go, that I shouldn't do that thing, that I shouldn't invest time in that, and that I should rest. I don't know where the connotation of rest being negative came from. And... Honestly, it doesn't matter. I'm here to tell you that resting is important. Resting is not negative. It doesn't mean that you quit. It doesn't mean that you're any less of a person just because you're resting. To reassess a plan, to reassess your trip to something, to reassess your current situation, whatever it is, does not mean that you're weak. It does not mean that you've made a mistake. It does not mean that you've failed, though failure is beautiful, and we'll talk about that soon. It means that you're so focused, you're so invested, that you're aware that it's time to reassess, that it's time to tweak, that it's time to push the button a little bit, that it's time to get yourself out of your comfort zone. And the reason that I think resting and reassessing go hand in hand is because you normally can't reassess something without resting. They're almost like they're synonymous, like they're the same. You have to stop, aka rest, what you're doing so that you can look at it, so that you can reassess. You know, when you put the address in for a GPS, in the GPS, and you notice that the route that it's taking you is incorrect or that it's hitting too much traffic or too many tolls, you have to stop it. You need to let the GPS rest, reassess, meaning restarting it, re-putting in that address so that you can look at the other options of that trip. And we forget to do that for ourselves. And, and I'm just here to bring it to the table and remind you that you should rest and reassess. Like I said, resting is not negative. It's, it's normally actually a springboard 
for your next journey, for your next adventure, for the next step in what it is that you're trying to do or you're trying to accomplish or the different projects that you're trying to bring together. I want to also remind you that in this time of resting and reassessing, this time is just as productive as when you're actually being productive with your business, with your career, with whatever it is that you're looking to do. If you work out, you know that the rest days are just as important as the days that you work out. Why? Because you need to give your muscles, you need to give your body time to regenerate. You need to continue to feed it. You need to continue to give it protein and water and hydrate. But that rest time is just as important, if not as important, as the days that you work out and you go hard. If you stay awake for over 24 hours, at some point, your body will force you to rest. At some point, you will crash. At some point, you will fall asleep. So just to drive that point home, you have to rest. And sometimes that means stopping what you're doing and just taking a moment to really acknowledge that it's time to look at the bigger picture again, to reassess your trip, And that resting is just as important as your purpose. I want to leave you guys with this quote by Alan Cohen, which was like so profound when I was making my notes for this episode. And I really wanted to share it once I found it. And it says, there is virtue in work and there is virtue in rest. Use both and overlook neither. Thank you so much for listening. Come back again next week for another episode of You the Boss Podcast.